We all know the results of yesterday's match, but do you guys have question about the score of the match, as far as I think of one of the most terrifying odds in history. This makes me think about some kind of magic that happened. And I hypothesize that some of the Chiefs players are not performing at the right level, is it possible that the Chiefs have sold with the right of redeeming pawn, so let's go find out. The start to this game felt pretty even keeled. Both defenses managed to shut out the opposing offenses the first time around. It looked like it was going to be a fairly tight game, but things quickly spiraled out of control for Kansas City. The run defense really only looked good at one point during this game and that was the fourth down goal line stand. There were numerous runs of double-digit yardage moving the sticks for the Buccaneers. That made things way too easy for Tom Brady because the defense really had to key in on the run game. It opened up the play-action passing game and had the Chiefs defense playing on their heels for the majority of the game. Brady already knows a defensive weakness and exploit it better. But he did not do so that is part of the question of the big difference. The bat moved three pitches for Leonard Fournette to match Ben Neiman in coverage. It has long been the biggest weakness of Kansas City that few teams have exploited this season. Brady did. Basically, the attacking line was overwhelming the entire game. Patrick Mahomes made them look better than they are now, working his way out of the pressure in some cases. In the final statistics, they only gave three sacks, but it should probably be ten. Shaq Barrett actually beat the blocks of Andrew Wiley and Mike Remmers so quickly. Mahomes was able to conduct field searches and develop deep and intermediate routes. Basically, he ran immediately after the ball was cut in each play. Penalties were a massive problem defensively and as soon as the officials started calling them, the team started playing very tentatively. By the time they seemed to get their mojo back, the Bucks could simply lean on the run game. The coach could be much better in this game for the Chiefs but the flinching is powerless. On defense, they had no answer for Rob Gronkowski and the group ran back. On the offensive side, they struggled to get any rhythm because of the attacking gameplay. Not many adjustments have been made and perhaps they've delivered.